take a look at this problem. We got cosecant of the inverse tangent of 7. Okay. Remember our first step is we take what's inside our parentheses and set it equal to a variable. So we got P is equal to inverse tangent of 7. Then our second step is to eliminate the uh, inverse function. So we'll take tangent of both sides. So tangent P is equal to tangent of the inverse ta uh, tangent of 7. Now tangent and inverse tangent cancel each other way, so that gives us 7. So we end up with tangent is equal to 7 over 1. Now, um, first let's talk about quadrants. Inverse tangent is valid from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So it's valid in these uh, two quadrants. And this says that tangent is equal to positive. Well, there's two places where tangent is positive. That's quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. Because a positive over positive is positive and negative over negative is positive. Now remember, tangent is y over x. So we need to find r. So we've got r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Or r squared is equal to 1 squared plus 7 squared. So we've got r squared is equal to 1 plus 49. r squared is equal to 50. We'll drop our squared and we'll put a square root around the other side. And now, 50 is equal to 2 times 5 times 5. Remember, we're looking for a pair of somethings. Here's a pair of 5, so they're going to come out in front. So we've got r is equal to 5 squared or 2. Now that um, x, y, and r is step 3, I should say. Now step 4. We want to find the outer trig function, the cosecant. And cosecant is r over y. So we're going to have 5 squared or 2 over y, and y was 7. So that would be our answer.